Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this week's vlog. I am Ashley if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So I just wanted to come in real quick and start the vlog off because girl, I literally be filming for days and forget to do an intro. I'm like, girl, you've been doing this long enough now, you know the routine, like get it together. So that's why I'm coming in. <laughs> so I had to stop in and make sure I did that. And I'm about to head out and do a quick little Sunday fun day, um, grab a donut, catch a quick vibe. Of course, I'll be bringing you guys with. Also, I wanted to come in and ask y'all, have y'all watched True Story on Netflix? Please comment down below, let me know. I'm not gonna spoil it for anybody, but I did just finish it and it was the bomb like i'm not someone who is the biggest uh kevin hart fan necessarily i think he's an incredible inspirational black man but as far as like his comedy it's really not my speed but kevin hart boy you did your thing with true story first of all it's not like a movie it's not it's like a six i think it's a six episode series if you will which i didn't even realize when i first started watching it i was like mm, this is interesting but it's not a comedy it's literally like a drama and a suspenseful drama if you will and it was so damn good like the story of this this the progression of the story and the writing a1 shout out to the boy kevin hart like i said i'm not gonna spoil it for anybody but if you've watched it please comment down below let me know if you liked it i was very pleasantly i was very pleased watching it watching it and how the story unfolded and it was really unlike anything i've ever seen before honestly it was like really refreshing in that and that it's like really is this happening is this happening is this happening <laughs> it was kind of like one of them stories like wow like kind of like a I used to be a huge Game of Thrones person. If you know me, then you know I was I was literally obsessed with Game of Thrones. Um, but the end of Game of Thrones, they totally botched it at the end. Like literally the last season, the last two episodes specifically was so horrible that it kind of ruined the entire series for me. If you feel the same way, please let me know. Comment down below. But that's how devastated i was with the ending of game of thrones so this story was kind of like that but it delivered like it, it delivered like i said i'm not gonna spoil it for y'all if you've watched it let me know let's chat in the comments if you haven't watched a girl or boy watch it it's the bomb um but anyway like i said i just wanted to come in and start off this week's vlog i know i'm going on and on and on about true story but i just got done i just got finished it and it was just so damn good like whew, it gave me the chills but anyway if you are a return subscriber hey girl hey welcome back i love you love you love you love you love you and if you are new welcome again to my channel don't forget again to subscribe comment share interact with me i love talking to y'all in the comments Again, thank you so much for coming back to this week's vlog. Girl, let's go ahead and get into it. <laughs> I missed out on the Stodd sale. Like I've been wanting one of these dresses or a few of these different these colors for quite some time. One of the colors I wanted is on was on sale, which is this one, the Till and Navy one. Oh my god! Do you know I could have got this for seventy seven dollars and thirty eight cents? The regular price of these dresses, I don't know if you got you. I'm sure you ladies are familiar or you've seen them before. They're normally one sixty five, and I literally could have got it for like what is that? Less than half off. So yeah, I'm mad I was late to the game, but they only have, like, they have a few colors left. Is this one on sale? Nope, this one. I wanted that color too. That one is regular price. All the ones that they still have left are, of course, sold out. I mean, uh, the, one, the only one they have left that's on sale, I should say, is this one. Who wants this color? 
Like, who, who, I mean, I'm sure somebody wants it, but not I, said the cat. Damn, I'm mad I missed that on the sale. They, I think they only had, if you girls were able to pick up, um, oh, look at that color. That's bussing. Oh my God. Was this one on sale? This one was on sale too. I, I'm not even tripping. I wouldn't even have wanted that one, but damn, I got to stay up on my game because I really want to stock. Is this one on sale? Oh God. Yeah, so I missed out. I could have got that one. Oh my God, if only. I'm gonna put myself on the list, but I know it's not gonna come back and be that price. But anyway, when you snooze, you lose, ladies. <laughs> so just as my flowers from last week were dying, they were so big and pretty. But that new pack came in today, just now. <laughs> that new pack just touched down they pretty too oh and a little bear how cute it's not even my birthday <laughs> y'all i'm on my way to the gym right now but why did i break my apple watch this morning dropped it right on the freaking stone floor in the bathroom I've been, this is the first generation Apple Watch Series 1. Like, I've been having this for woo, probably four or five years. I did not want to give up. So, I guess now I have to buy a new Apple Watch. I'm not thrilled. Hey, you guys. So, the black jacket. Y'all know I've been obsessed with them faux leather puffers from Forever 21. So, as I told you guys, I was able to pick up the black one. Well, let me go grab it so I can show y'all. It's so cute. Hey y'all, so I'm back. This is the jacket. I know it doesn't look like much, just your standard puffer, but it is a faux leather puffer. She's so cute. And I didn't realize that it's from what they consider their Forever 21 premium line. Y'all have a premium line? Interesting. Let me find out. <laughs> if the things are anything like this, then they're cute. Uh, of course, you're not going to get the full effect because I have on this, like, little cardigan wrap or whatever, but... Oh, and this one is a Zero X, so it definitely is much... It's, it's a little bit more snug than the other one. And this is how it looks. And let me zip her up. When I, they say cropped, baby, she's cropped. Girl. <laughs> she's, like, the cream of the cropped, actually. So I think they're so damn cute though. If you can still get your hands on it, I will have it linked below. But here it goes, just your standard cropped full leather puffer, girl, whatever you wanna call it. I just think they're super cute to me. I do think that the, the collar is slightly awkward, but it's cool. And that's how it looks open. I love it. Super happy I was able to get it. And I basically got two for the price of one. Girl, you can't beat that. Yeah, I just got to show you what this person has on the back of their car. If you hit me with my kids in the car, I will whoop your ass. I'm like, girl, big mood. <laughs> this is the Dollar Tree. Y'all, I'm so emotional right now. <laughs> It really is the simple things that counts. Like my bestie, I didn't even, I didn't know she was sending me anything in the mail. Um, we typically, we always get each other uh, birthday gifts, but we don't really get each other uh, Christmas gifts. But she, I just checked the mail <laughs> and she sent me, first of all, this beautiful card. And we're destined to be friends. I'm not going to read all of that in there, but it's so sweet. Established. 2002 that's how long we've been knowing each other that's almost 10 years um oh my gosh she's so sweet y'all it oh my god she sent me we met at school at alabama state she sent me an alabama state mask and in the card she says i'm sending and she sent me this purple rain t-shirt to know me is to know how much i love prince roger prince rogers nelson excuse me the love of my life and i actually had a long sleeve purple rain t-shirt but it's like a freaking 3x so <laughs> i don't know how she anyway 
So in the card, she puts a little something, something that you'll love and the place that we met. Bestie, if you're watching this, I love you. Oh my God, this is so cute. <laughs> Y'all, it really be the simple things. Like, this is like not simple to me though. Like, this is so, oh my God. I love you, Camille. Nobody ha could have a better bestie than me. <laughs> So I'm still making some progress in the closet, y'all. I gotta give y'all a progress report because like I said, y'all are my accountability partners. So if I show y'all this every week on the vlog, I have no other choice but to keep this shit moving and keep and get it together. So <laughs> anyway, um, making some progress on this side. These, This is all clear um, on this side and I don't have anything to give away or throw away. So I have jackets and some other stuff over here um those bags are going to get moved i have all the old stuff cleared out of these little cubby things so those are like t-shirts and leggings and uh not everything but that's what the, the the places are set for what they're supposed to be set for uh the bottom is not good but i don't have any shoes down there that needs to be thrown away on this side but anyway the reason why i'm coming in here to talk to y'all right now is because i got i kind of made a space for my necklaces like my every like the necklaces the jewelry that i wear on the daily most of these are like costume pieces but um a couple pieces are like you know real like this is real <laughs> and this is real these are actually pieces from wafi from jury unlimited um i know a lot of the people because of like little baby and a lot of the rappers shop with wafi or at jury unlimited now but your girl you know <laughs> she been on that wafi shit but no i'm joking but for real i've been having these pieces from wafi for years but anyway you guys what did y'all do with y'all Tiffany jewelry from back in the day? Because I know that y'all not wearing Tiffany. Some people still wear Tiffany. And I, I'm thinking I'm about to go get my Tiffany jewelry cleaned. Because the only reason why I don't wear my Tiffany pieces is because I don't wear silver often. It's not because I feel like Tiffany is played. Because Tiffany is timeless. Tiffany will never be played. Let's be clear. So it's like if you're a silver girl, then you would I would you, I would wear tiffany more often but i just was cleaning out like all my old stuff and i had my old boxes some of my old boxes right here and some of my old pieces now i have some necklaces over here that are like super tarnished i need to get cleaned like super duper bad this is my most recent tiffany piece it's like the, it's like the oversized key girl you can't even tell it's from tiffany because it's so freaking dirty but I probably got this in like 2016, I think for Valentine's Day. Shout out to you, boy, wherever you are. But anyway, um, I also have, of course, the legendary dog tags, the heart and the oval. These are so dirty. I think I want to get, look how dirty this shit is. This is supposed to be sterling silver. <laughs> but when you have them just sitting there, just collecting dust, they get dirty like that. But I had these pieces actually like inside of like this acrylic box. So they look way better. They need cleaning too, but they look way better than those necklaces. But anyway, what did y'all do with y'all Tiffany jewelry? Do you still wear it? Do you Did you sell it? Because I don't want to sell my pieces, but it's like, girl, you're not really wearing them. Um, but I feel like they're timeless. Like you're going to have, if I have a daughter one day, I would love for her to have you know these pieces because tiffany is tiffany girl but look how dirty this stuff is but i used to go ham for tiffany like complete ham burger for this collection which was i think was the 1837 collection or the tn co collection these are like the huggy earrings girl and i tell you i've been having these since like freshman year in college yeah um this is the big oversized if you had this back in the day you was the girl because this was the regular size bracelet and i love this too obviously this is the bracelet that all the girls love but if you had this one too 
or this one and i think this was my first one actually this was my first one and that was my second one but if you had this one you was that girl back in the day <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you was the girl. And I remember my homegirl back in the day from Detroit. The Detroit girls at my school at Alabama State, they used to love Tiffany. But, um, but yeah, my homegirl, she she put me on to the large, the large Tiffany pieces, and I just had to have it. But, yeah, and then the choker. So, girl, let me tell you about this choker. I know I'm going on and on about Tiffany, but back in the day y'all know this is the piece y'all know this was the piece that all the girls had the over choker i my neck was too fat and i could not fit it because this choker is like 15.34 inches or 16 inches or something like that and it was way too small it was way too short for my neck so i actually had to have some extra links added over here to the side but how can how about your girl like never could i ever just put this on without the additional links how about your girl took the links out and she can wear it regularly today now <laughs> what an accomplishment but yeah back in the day when all the girls had you know their necklace on i had to have mine specially fitted because i could not fit this around my neck which is why i used to more so wear my my dog tags every day but your girl can fit it now it's still tight as hell but it's not you know i can actually get it cuffed but but yeah what y'all do with y'all tiffany's jewelry do you still wear it i think i'm gonna get all my pieces clean and i'm gonna rock them like i'm just gonna have a silver moment it's not like i said it's not because i don't wear uh i don't think tiffany is dope because tiffany is super timeless but your girl is a gold girl i love gold i'm like gold member <laughs> one more thing why did i have this why did i have this who would girl let me see the story behind this briefly because i know i'm wearing out with these old with this old jewelry is um i used to be obsessed with Pat, patricia field pat field who was the costume designer wardrobe stylist designer for sex in the city with the red hair i used to love 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 the girl and she actually had a website and a store in NYC. She probably still does. I don't really keep up with her no more. But anyway, this is one of her pieces. And because of that, I probably should keep it. But this looks a fool and who would ever wear this? Girl, I was a mess. As a matter of fact, y'all, this was a Patricia Field collection that she did for Barbie. Look at this. By Patricia Field for barbie 2007 girl girl archives i'm not getting rid of this you know what ain't cool this shit right here this shit is not cool where my damn receipt for fetch rewards this is some straight bullshit this is a video <laughs> so just a quick atlantic station run so i can take back those two bombers that i had since i purchased those online and got them for the lolo they got a sale today so i'm probably gonna stop in here too girl these little faux kelly's are cute i love this tree so they have a sale in h and i think i'm about to pick this shirt up She's giving girl, <laughs> but she's giving up. This is what I really want. Girl, this is the medium. It's not gonna go. This is the medium. This is the largest size, and it clearly. Y'all, look what I had to go buy. <sighs> Trust me when I say I did not want to buy a new watch, but look at this. <laughs> And my friend said, if I get it fixed, it's probably going to be at least $100. And this was on sale for $169. This was Series 1. This was Series 3. So I figured I might as well. But when I tell you, it was like pulling every tooth out of my mouth for me to buy this. Because I had no plans. 
Like, I was fine with this watch looking how, it, I mean, not looking like this with the crack, but I was fine with it being a, a series one, but okay, Merry Christmas. <laughs> how our Saturday is going here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I got the nerve to be warm because I don't know what, girl. It's supposed to rain all day today. I love the rain though, I'm not really tripping, but girl. Don't you know I wanna go find? Oh yeah, look at my plant. Oh dang, child. <sighs> she don't wanna be great, so she can stay out here until she <laughs> until she dies. So you guys, I was just in the mood to cook up a lot of shit. <laughs> so I'm having like a, I cook like a mini Christmas. So I made some dressing, which I need to put back in the oven for a little while. Some crescent rolls. Some baby broccoli. Some homemade cream corn. A roasted chicken. Homemade gravy, homemade mashed potatoes, and I also have some brownies in the oven. Yeah, a mini Christmas. <laughs> so in the What Are We Currently Burning Chronicles, this is the candy pecan. You already know my favorite 350 candle from Target. So that's what I'm burning right here, but I'm also burning. That's another bag that I'm going to take to Goodwill tomorrow, another bag of clothes. I'm also burning berry mandarin. <laughs> smells amazing. And I think it's Island Margarita that Keiko said it smells like, but it smells amazing. It's very fruity, but not like a fruity that would give you a headache. So it's really dope and it burns really slow too. $5, girl, you cannot beat that for that size. And then over here, <laughs> I'm burning vanilla bean, which is another one of those 350 candles. So needless to say, it smells amazing in here. And then of course I got my air wig right here. It smells amazing. Yeah, so what are you girls currently burning? Comment down below, let your girl know. You know, we're candle lovers over here. Hey you guys, just wanted to come in and end off this week's vlog. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you greatly 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 infinitely appreciate you shout out to you <laughs> oh and also y'all i just started watching um selling tampa on netflix it's really good like I've, i'm probably on like episode four already and i just started watching it last night black excellence i love seeing black girl magic and black excellence um it's all minority uh employed real estate company in tampa and the girls are serving looks and making deals and it's really refreshing to see on tv so highly recommended if you guys have not watched selling tampa i also love selling sunset so i love real estate shows <laughs> but anyway again if you made it to the end of the vlog i greatly appreciate you thank you so much please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in next week's vlog